Good morning, YouTube family. How in the heck are you guys? It is Friday morning, 9.41, and I'm on my way to the post office to ship out some amazing goodie boxes to some of my subscribers. So let's see, we have Kim, hey Kim, and we have Kathy, hey Kathy. Um, I gotta go this way. Pull the seatbelt on. So, I am getting together some boxes. Um, I had a few people email me interested in some of the Bath and Body Works items that I got from the dumpster in my last video. So, I'm on my way to the post office right now to mail these out to those two amazing ladies. And then... I'm going to the other town that has a candle dumpster because I'm dying to know if they are clearing out all their stuff to get in the new products as well. So I think I'm going to go out there and check that dumpster. Um, if I have time, I'm probably going to head to the go-to town also. I don't know if I'm going to have time. I'm hoping I do, but I'm not sure because I got to pick the girls up from school later. And my house is a complete disaster, guys. Like, it looks like a freaking bomb went off. Um, so yeah, we're going to go check that dumpster. I definitely want to get to the B.L store um, up the road from my house. I definitely want to check that one because I haven't checked that one in a while because the door's always open. I'm almost to the post office, so I'm going to go mail these packages out for these lovely ladies. And I will see you guys hopefully at some dumpsters today. Oh man, they look empty, guys. Only one way to find out is check it, right? Right. Oh my God, I'm stuck on my steering wheel. Anything else in those other two bags? There's only three bags in there. All right. Oh, it's cold out there. Turn my heat on. All right. Oh my goodness, I'm off of Okay, let's drive away from the building. <laughs> I'll park over here. Oh my goodness, I got a candle. I got a couple candles, I think. Oh, oh my goodness, there's nothing wrong with it. Oh my goodness. Oh, here's another. Sweater weather. Oh, it's mostly burnt, but that's okay. Two candles. Did I get anything else? Oh, I got a little candle. It's broken. Oh, that looks like it's it though. Oh, nope. Oh, they dumped it all out. Oh, it smells really good. I'm covered in it. All right. Well, that's good for now. God, I hope I have napkins. All right, let's go check some more. Why is it every time I go dumpster diving, 
I have to pee. Ugh. Oh man, there's a truck here. What's going on? Is he in there? Oh, the door is open. Oh, that's okay. It's not the dollar store. Oh, they look empty. I think I'm gonna have to go to the go-to town today. Because it's not looking like this one's gonna give me much. All empty. Maybe I have my dates wrong for when they empty them. Yeah, I might have my dates wrong. Okay. So, I'm in my town now, and I have to get home and pack up another box for Miss Yvette. Thank you for your order. But I was like, hmm, why don't we stop and check the discount grocery store on the way home? So, that's what I'm going to do. Then I got to get home. I got to finish um, Miss Sharon's box. So, thank you, Sharon. Um, and then I'll do up Yvette's box, too. Let's go check the discount grocery store dumpster and see if there's any goodies. All right, the lid is closed, which is never a good sign. And there is somebody smoking out here. Lost my grabber. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I dropped my grabber all the way down to the bottom. There wasn't much stuff in there. <laughs> and I the lid closed on my head. Oh my god, that was hilarious. I hope you guys seen that because that, <laughs> that was comical. Oh, and then my coat got stuck. Oh my God. <laughs> I gotta watch that back and see if you were able to see it. The sun was shining right there, so I don't know if you did. Ow, I jacked my leg up. All right. Oh my goodness. But I got a couple things from that one. Um, there really isn't anything else around my way oh man does my knee or what is this my shin Whew. I jacked it up all right um, <laughs> I'll figure out what I'm doing <laughs> I gotta watch that back <laughs> I'll see you guys later okay <laughs> so I'm gonna try not to fall in this dumpster um, I decided to come check the B.L and the dollar type store that way this will get a whole video up for you guys I'm still gonna dive in it even if the door's open because I got to because I'm dying to see what's in it. Oh, the door's closed today. Yes. 
Okay, let's hope there's stuff, guys. So we'll check this one and then the dollar type one right down the street. Then I've got to get home. Please let there be stuff. material and a shopping cart in that one and everything is soaking wet and my hands have soap all over them still <laughs> so now my hands are all soapy I mean I'll take that though I'd rather have soapy hands than anything else you know what I'm saying and I don't know where my dang gloves are and of course the ones I scored the other night I did not put in my car <laughs> bag of Halloween cards but what am I gonna do with Halloween cards I don't want to hold them for a year and who gives Halloween cards out anyway you know what I mean <laughs> but I can definitely use this bubble wrap so that's a plus and that's it guys that is all I found today which I did get some things, so it wasn't a wasted day, thank goodness. But thank you guys for watching, and as always, happy diving! What is up, YouTube family? Welcome to the reveal part of the video. I was not even going to show you guys this haul because it's so sad, but it's too funny not to. Me almost falling into that dumpster is hilarious. I don't care who you are. You had to have laughed at that. Um, because I literally was laughing for 20 minutes <laughs> watching that <laughs> when I played it back. Anywho, I'm going to show you what I scored from the candle dumpster and the grocery store dumpster right now. So let's jump into it. Okay. So from the... Uh, which dumpster do I want to do? We'll do, we'll go backwards. I got a huge roll of bubble wrap, which I actually had to rip some off for my kids to play with because if you have children, you know when you get bubble wrap, they have to pop it. So in order for them to not pop every single bubble on here, I had to cut some off for them. But anyway, so I got this for shipping, which is going to be awesome. And then I went to, well, that was the last place I went. We're going backwards. Um, from the grocery store dumpster, I got three items. The reason why I almost fell in that dumpster is because I dropped my grabber and I was trying to get, they had like a little clear package of like some kind of cake, like, like little slices, individual slices of cakes. And they looked super good. And I was like, oh, I want those. And I kept trying to get them and I couldn't get them. <laughs> so I I accidentally dropped my grabber and then I was like, oh my God, how am I going to get this? Because I can't get in. I have a hard time getting that lid open. You guys have seen me struggling before trying to open that lid. Oh, but anywho, I got two bags of these baby potatoes. This one is organic and there is not one bad potato in this bunch, not one. And then these ones are just the regular and there's some purple potatoes in here, reds and whites. And again, not one bad potato in this bunch. I have no idea why these were tossed in the dumpster. And I also got a head of cabbage, which I'm gonna cut right here and go to what I did with that cabbage. 
I am interrupting this video to show you what I did with this cabbage. <laughs> so we're in my dirty kitchen. Well, I just did the dishes. This was a hot mess. This was all dirty and horrible. But I found this cabbage today in the dumpster. Shh. Don't tell my husband because he won't eat this. I'm going to make his favorite dinner tonight. I'm going to do cabbage and egg noodles with ham. And if I told him where this cabbage came from, he would not eat it. He just wouldn't. He's picky. I like he'll eat some things, but I mean, it's in plastic. There's no holes. I checked and it just needs the first layer taken off. There's nothing wrong with it. Perfectly good cabbage. So we're going to use this for dinner tonight. I have these egg noodles from good old Aldi. Look at me. I'm a mess. <laughs> I've been making, um, what are those things called? Bath and Body Works boxes all day. Like running back and forth. This is going to be my third time to the post office. Thank goodness it's close. Um, but I got this ham at Aldi's also last week when I went grocery shopping. And I'm just going to cook like little ham steaks up. My kids love ham. My hubby loves ham. I like ham. And then whatever is left, hubby and the kiddos can take for lunch. Um, next week, I'll just freeze it and then defrost it whenever they want to take it for sandwiches. But that is why you are not going to see that cabbage in my haul later. So back to the video. Okay, we're back. So you guys seen what I did with the cabbage and my hubby, he ate it all. He loved it. He does not know it came from the dumpster. So any of you that are watching this, mother-in-law, don't tell him. <laughs> he doesn't need to know. It was washed. There was nothing wrong with it. We all lived to tell the tale. Nobody got sick. We're fine. Okay, back to the good stuff. So the first place I went was the candle dumpster and I must have my dates messed up in that town. I thought that they picked up on Sundays or Mondays. That's not what the case is. I found out they pick up on late Thursday night, early Friday mornings. That is why everything was empty and the candle dumpster only had three bags in it. So I'm gonna hit that town up again tonight after work and probably tomorrow night after work. So hopefully we have some luck, but I'm gonna try and hit a bunch of dumpsters tonight on my way home. I'm gonna go to that town first, make my way back towards home. Um, again, I'm a bartender. I work until two in the morning. I probably will not get out of there until 2.30. I'm probably not going to get home till 4 a.m. and my husband will be bringing the girls home from my mother-in-law's on his way home from work at 8 a.m. So I have to be up at 8.30 in the morning with the kids so he can go to sleep and then I have to go back to work tomorrow night. So I'm going to be super tired, but it's all for the sake of dumpster diving. <laughs> Moving on. So you guys seen I got some candles from the candle dumpster and I was super stoked. Do you know, I was getting the bag out of my car and they came in a bag like this. So, well, they didn't come in a bag like that. I threw them in a bag like that because I took a bunch of those bags and they were the Christmas ones. I loaded everything that I got out of that bag in one of those. And then I was trying to reach in and get my potatoes and cabbage in the front seat of my car. The bag broke. I dropped the candles that were completely good. This is a White Barn black tie scented candle and it was completely full, never used, not broken. And then I dropped it on the damn ground and broke it. But this candle smells amazing and it's covered in little pieces of glass. Um, but that's okay, I'll, I'll just use it for wax melts anyway, so no big deal. Then I got this one, which was sweater weather. It was already burnt to there, but it wasn't broken. Of course, I dropped it and it broke. But that, that is a good amount of wax still for wax melts because you really only need a little bit. A little bit of this wax in a wax melter goes a long way, guys. Like any of you that are divers, that are subscribers to my channel, I know a few of you have said, I always find broken candles. Take them cut them up into wax melts. Go buy yourself a $5 wax melter at Walmart, and there you go. It honestly lasts so much longer than burning a candle. I swear, I promise you will not be disappointed. So, give it a whirl. All right, 
And then I got another little candle. This one was a little bit broken, but I uh, broke it a lot more by dropping it on the ground. This is a Christmas classic. It is Marshmallow Fireside. And this smells amazing. Oh my goodness. I also got the lid for it. So I finally found a little lid, which I haven't, I don't think I have any little lids. And then I got this lid and just a regular bath and body lid. Then I got, you guys seen that I picked up this and I was like, oh my God, I'm covered in body wash. Well, it's okay, cause it smelled really good. Um, this is called the Gingham scent. And this is just shower gel. And there they dumped that much out of it. Cause this isn't a uh, tester, store tester. It's not that there's always a heart on it that says try me if it is. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm still getting over this cough and my kids are. Ugh, it's horrible. Um, so I don't know if they're getting rid of this scent or what, because I've been finding this one a lot lately, but it smells really good. And I was digging a little further and I found the lotion. Now this is the same scent, the gingham, I think gingham. I don't know if I'm saying it right. I'm probably saying it wrong. Um, it's only full till about here though. I just shook it up and that's why it looks like there's more, but they also dumped a bunch of this out in the bag as well. So there's that. And that is it. That is all I got. I know. I know. I don't know. I ran out of time yesterday. <laughs> um, and then I wasn't able to go back out. It was way too cold for me to take my kids out. I mean, I don't take them out to the dumpsters, but in the car. I don't even want to take them outside any more than I have to when it's cold like this, especially when they both are getting over a little cold. It's just not worth it. It's just not. Um, and then I ran out of time yesterday because I was getting all of my boxes shipped out that people bought that I scored from my last haul, which was the Bath and Body Works haul. I probably had, I would say 125, 150 pieces, soaps, lotions, sprays. I pulled out everything I had and this is all I have left. So this is everything I have left. We have this full box here, which is loaded full with tons of soaps. I had somebody email me about all the aromatherapies and I didn't get rid of any of these because I'm waiting for her to get back to me. So I have a bunch of aromatherapy lotions, the comfort, the stress relief, um, eucalyptus, and there was another one. I have another men's collection. Oh, here's the other. The sleep. Um, I have a bunch of sweater weathers, which I had a person email me about those. I have one, two, three, four sweater weather lotions left. I have a marshmallow pumpkin latte, a kaleidoscope. We have a little bit of this white cosmic. It's a lot of it they squirted out white coconut caramel soap, midnight blue citrus soap. A lot of these are from the summertime that these ones I'm showing you is when I got, I scored over the summer. Let me bring you back up. Whew. Like Tiki Shore. I'm just showing you some sweater weather, afternoon apple picking, blackberries and basil, champagne toast coconut pumpkin latte. It goes on and on and on. And I got one of these left. Sunshine and lemons. These are all full. Eucalyptus mint. I mean, tons of soaps left. So I can probably do one more $60 box. Japanese cherry blossom lotion. Um, I can do one more $60 box and that's it. And then um, the people that email me about the sweater weather and the, the um, aromatherapy lotions, shoot me another email and let me know if you want this. Um, and I will ship it to you. But um, the $60 box you get, that includes your shipping and you get over $100 worth of products. So that's a great deal. I'm just saying. 
But um, yeah, so that's what I did yesterday and that's why I ran out of time because I kept having people email me. I had to go to the, the pharmacy. Oh my good God. <laughs> I had to go to the post office like five different times yesterday. So that is why I ran out of time dumpster diving. But at least I was able to get a few things so now I can make some more wax melts. Sharon, <laughs> hey girl. Um, also, I wanted to ask you guys if you could please, please send some prayers out for my very good friend Michelle on here. Hey girl. Um, she's one of my subscribers and she's become one of my very good friends on here. We email each other almost every day and she had fallen and gotten very, very injured. Um, she's healing. She's out of the hospital. She's at home, but you know, she's in some pain and she's just had it very rough lately. So if you guys could please, please give her, you know, some love, some prayers. I would appreciate it. And I know her and her husband would appreciate it greatly. Um, she is a great friend. She's a great person, has a huge heart. Sent me all that stuff not too long ago for me and the girls. Um, sent me a hair straightener, the blow dryer, and all that jewelry stuff for the girls. And, you know, she's just such a sweet person. So I would appreciate some prayers for her if you guys could. And that is it, guys. I know it was kind of crappy and it wasn't the best haul, obviously, but Monday is a new day and I am gonna be back in that go-to town, chucking that candle dumpster and all the other dumpsters. With it getting cold out now, I've noticed the stores aren't destroying as often because if they have to be outside destroying the stuff, they don't wanna be cold. So they go back in and they just throw it in the dumpster. So. When it's cold outside, it is the best time for diving because that's when you have the best luck, especially at stores like this. Know what I'm saying? So any of you divers that are getting out there, go get out there and check your dumpsters because when it's cold, you're gonna have much better luck. Um, let's see. I also had a subscriber ask me to give her a shout out. Her name is Sharon. I'm probably gonna butcher your name, Peva House of Our Frugal Life. She has a channel and it's a couponing channel. Um, if you guys are interested, Sharon, if you can comment down below a link to your channel, that would be fabulous so that everybody can, that's interested and that wants to show you some love can go and check out your channel and subscribe. Also, I have a bunch of new subscribers. So welcome, hello, welcome to the craziness. Thank you guys so much for subscribing and I'm seeing I have a ton of views on my videos but not as many subscribers so those of you that aren't sure if you want to subscribe yet i would love for you to try check it out if you don't like it unsubscribe but i'm sure you are gonna like it because i bring a lot of good hauls to this channel this one is the exception so just you know don't worry about this one but they get better i promise and this coming week i'm gonna have a lot more time to get to the dumpsters so don't worry about that um, next weekend though is not the case. I have to work Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So next weekend is going to be a little bit busy for me, but I'm still going to try to get to those dumpsters. Don't you worry. And thank you guys so much for tuning in and checking out my itty bitty haul and almost falling headfirst in the dumpster yet again. <laughs> it's yet to happen fully, but I know it will one day. Don't worry. <laughs> so I will see you guys next time. And as always, happy diving. Bye guys.